Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to the database tutorials using VisualBasic.net. Uh, in the last tutorial, we talked about the data grid control and so how we can link that into the database and so a number of properties. Basically, the most important uh, property was the uh, data binding of data source and the data member. So uh, today we are going to talk about two controls, which are the text box and uh, and the day um, and the uh, binding navigator okay uh, before we start we have this simple database it's called test and it has a simple table that calls phones we have the person name we have the person address we have the person telephone number we are going to use that okay so let's go to the application <coughs> so just a few settings to avoid errors um, sorry. And done. Okay. So, uh, now, first thing we are going to link to our database and create our uh, data set. So, add a new data source, going to be a database. Next, uh, new connection, browse for my database and open. Uh, test the connection. Okay, okay. Uh, next, include the database in the application. Next, and select the tables and press finish. Okay, so now we have this data set. Uh, okay, of course, we are gonna need a binding source. Okay, and then we are gonna test with text boxes. We will see how to link that. So first step is to link the data, uh, sorry, the binding source to our data set. So the data source here should be our test data set and the data member is going to be phones. Now, we need to link this text box to one of the fields of the table, okay? So if you check its property, go to data binding part you will find in the text there is this one uh, when you open your binding source you'll be able to find the fields of the table uh, just remember text box display a single column in a table data grid displays a complete table so there's a difference you you'll have to know uh, which one to use okay so we're gonna display the name here okay Let's try this out and see if it works. Okay, so this is Smith. Now let's try to display the other set of fields. So, uh, or the other columns. So this one will be for what? Uh, for the address and the last one will be for, let's see, uh, for the telephone. So this one, similarly, We'll go to the bi uh, data binding and select the other column which is address and the last one we also select it and go to the telephone okay so we have these three right now okay and this is it as you can see the name the address the telephone number of course a better design would be uh, uh, by uh, adding a label here saying this isn't a name this is the address this is the telephone number okay but this is just an example a quick example so we're not gonna do that okay <clears throat> uh, now the problem with this is that we cannot navigate to the other record okay so how do we do that we are gonna need another control and this one's called binding navigator which is here from its name it's a navigator it will allow me to navigate to other records uh, the moment you draw it here you're gonna get all these controls up here okay so after you put the uh, binding navigator uh, scroll down and search for let me see what's the property here it's binding source uh, sometimes it gets confusing sometimes it's binding source sometimes it's data source or something like that but uh, you can get the idea okay so we link it to the table or to our binding source and uh, that's it now if we run the application 
Okay, so now we can see this is one of five. We can we can navigate as we can see. We can remove records. We can add records. We can modify the text of the record. Okay, uh, this is all is done automatically. I don't have to worry about it. Now let's come to the properties, important properties that we have. First thing is about text box. What if you want to prevent user from modifying the data? Uh, the important property here is uh, similar to data grid, which is read only. So if I want to prevent people from modifying name, I will go and change read only from false to true. And then just run the application and you will see that this one now it uh, has a, a darker background which means I cannot modify it. This one I can modify it of course, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, uh, let me put it back the way it was. So I just select it and go to read only. Just double click it and now it's false. Okay. So probably this is the most two important properties for text box. There are other properties, but for now read only which I am using the most and the uh, date uh, and the binding, uh, uh, sorry, the text binding property uh, for, for this one, uh, which I'm using as well. Okay, now let's get to the binding navigator. Binding navigator is a different story. It contains lots and lots of properties. Now, this control um, have two groups. The first group of the uh, of controls is the buttons and text boxes that it includes. This is a complete control. Okay, this is the button uh, which moves to the first element. This is a complete control. This is another complete control. Another one. Another one. Another one, and so on. So each one of these is actually a different control, and you can modify its uh, properties. Okay, this is only a button. It doesn't have uh, much uh, a, a code in it. Uh, we can modify this one, for example. Um, uh, for example, let's change its uh, image. <clears throat> so I'm gonna import an image here. Okay, uh, where is my pictures? And uh, let me see. Okay, this is one of the tutorials pictures. Okay. So uh, let me choose a number of funny pictures here, or not funny, but rather. So this will be moved first. I'm going to change this one. Next button to be this is just an example. If you want, you don't need to change it. Usually, you will you will uh, use the standard uh, set of images and stuff like that. So now, if we run this one, okay. So. As you can see now, these buttons, these will be moved backwards, this will be moved forward, this will be moved first. Okay, so as you can see, uh, as I said before, these are a, but, uh, a set of buttons, okay? Uh, you can double click each one of these and see their code, okay? And uh, actually, they don't have any code. All the operations are included in the binding navigator, okay? So this is a text box, uh, this is a label, and so on. Okay, so you can change anyone's properties as you see appropriate. Okay, uh, okay. So now, um, what do we have next? Let's see. We have the binding navigator itself. Now, what does this one include? Is something different. Uh, here, if we look uh, look at it. Uh, Obviously, the, the binding uh, source was the one that links our control to the, the data, uh, data set uh, and which uh, tells us how to navigate the table. Uh, we have this set of properties. The count item is displaying the number of elements, okay? And here you specify the control which display the information. So here, this is binding uh, navigator count item. If we click here, okay, this one, you will find that this is the binding con uh, navigator count item, as you can see. Uh, if we select the control again and check other, uh, this is add a new item, binding navigator add a new item, you will find that this button is called 
binding navigator and new item. In other words, in other words, what I'm trying to say here is that these properties are actually uh, are actually telling me which buttons will trigger this command. So if I, for example, want to prevent the user from adding uh, a new a new records, all I have to do is just select none. Uh, and that's it. Okay, so now if I run the application, okay, and I press this one, I have nothing to, uh, uh, sorry, I have no effect. Okay, so uh, this is simply beca because I told the control that in order to, to add a new item, there is no control that could do that. Okay, so if I want, I can reselect the correct control, which is add a new item, and so on. Okay, the same goes for other control for deleting, uh, for moving first, last, next, previous, and uh, so on. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much all the things you need to know about Binding Navigator. Uh, the save command in order to save the changes or commit the changes uh, there is no code uh, sorry there is no button for that you will have to write some code uh, you don't have to worry actually about that the way we did things here is a little bit difficult we did it in the difficult way uh, actually you can do it in a much easier way let me show you how uh, basically basically you don't have all these controls okay I'm gonna remove all these from the form okay uh, after you add your data set okay now if you click on the founds table what do you see here uh, you can see that you can treat this as data grid view or treat it as details details means you are gonna use a form after you select the details you just drag this one from here and drop it on the form and the system or uh, sorry uh, visual basic will create all the controls and everything you need to do even the save button okay so now if you run this one okay you will see that uh, everything is created including the save button okay uh, and if you double click the save button, you will see that this is the code uh, that you need to do. Okay, uh, it did everything for you right away. Okay, uh, this is uh, one thing. Uh, another another thing you might want to do instead of this, let me just remove these controls again. Instead of dra dragging and dropping these, you can uh, drag this control. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let me repeat that. The last time I dragged the table name itself and dropped it. And this way you can display it in a data grid or a form. Now I'm gonna only select one of the columns, drag it from here and drop it on the form. Okay? It's also gonna create everything for me, but it will only display that specific control. Now let's say I want to display the telephone so this is it okay of course you can drag and drop the whole table and then delete the telephone it's up to you but uh, you, you get the idea this is how you do it okay um, okay so uh, this will be all for today about using uh, binding navigator and about using the uh, text boxes with the database Okay, um, we will talk a little bit about other controls in the next tutorial and then we will start working uh, with code. Okay, uh, that will be all for today. I hope you'll find this useful. If you have any questions, any suggestions, or any notes, please uh, uh, send them to notes at mka-self.com. Also, check out the website. You can find other tutorials and how-tos. Okay, have a nice day and... Uh, Bye-bye.